y'all. It's a good sign. 11 11. It's a good sign. This right. bitch really has Leo Skeppy on her close friends as if he's gonna ever watch. You know, it's manifestation. You have to um, hope for the best. Delusional <laughs> is the word, but I love it. Hey, babe. Um, I'm gonna do like sound over this so we can't hear. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a rough trip, y'all. Brian, say what's up. He looks pissed. I told you I made 40 bucks on a feet pick. On a feet pick? He just said I made 40 bucks on a feet pick. The boy was tatting up my leg and he was tatting up my leg. You have nice feet? I fell off the scooter and bully my feet. We got bunion toes. I have half a toenail right now. <laughs> Always working. Sussing, sussing, sussing on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm balling, I'm balling, I've a song on you. Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, oh, yeah. I smash out, I smash out, I smash out, oh, yeah. I'm spending, I'm swagging. First stop, the lick is stout. <laughs> No. I got kid in the candy store. <laughs> it's a biggie. Remember when I projectile vomited after yeah. I drank one of these? How can I forget? And what if I drink this? <laughs> um, please don't. Hey babes, we just made it to Las Vegas, as you probably saw by the beginning clips, but I figured it'd be fun to do a alcohol haul because you already know this is gonna be a long weekend of drinking, which my check liver light is gonna be on after this for sure. Um, so in honor of Cinco de Mayo being tomorrow, we got the high noon tequila seltzers, which I think these are probably gonna be disgusting, but I can't do tequila shots. So. your idea. I know, I can't do tequila shots, but like, you can't not have something tequila on Cinco de Mayo. It's just disrespectful. If you're gonna be drinking, you have to have tequila. So these flavors sound really good though. Strawberry, lime, grapefruit, and passion fruit. And then, of course, we had to get the regular high noons. These are way better than White Claws, by the way. If you didn't know, now you do. This is the limited edition pool pack, which is not limited edition. That's a lie. That's a lie, because last year I got them, so not limited edition. And White Claw vodka, the mango flavor, of course. Um, lots of Tito's, half gal. We will kill this. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> This will not last. We have a group of six people, so. Um, anyway, do you want to say hi? Did say alcohol? This What's is um, my little brother, What's Daniel. Popping? And Haley. This is mine. <laughs> this is Haley, my little brother. <laughs> Pretty much. <mild. laughs> Pretty much. And this is my sister. If a girl could be an uncle, that'd be me. We got <laughs> Jameson. This is for. This is for Haley and Brian because what is like that? Like, we don't we don't drink Jamie and then Casamigos Blanco and you are of course not the one with the little the cute little cup. How festive! It's about to get real messy in this vlog, so if you don't like annoying drunk people, you just probably shouldn't watch. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm scared. Send help. <laughs> I got me some brazen, I got me some Started rocking the sleeve, I can't buy with no drugs You know how I do it, can close on my toe oh. I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up So if I see it, I like it, but down from the start I'm with some white girls and they love them to cook up Like they OT Double OT, like I'm kids it's probably where Haley and I are going to get ready every single day because this bathroom is the best bathroom in the whole Airbnb. Look at this wall, how cool is that? And this big bathtub, I love it. This is the only nice bathroom in the Airbnb though. I feel like the pictures really did make this place look nicer than it is. I'm not saying it's not nice, but the pictures really were, they were kind of catfishing a little bit, but that's okay. At least like this um, living area is 
very spacious. There's so much room, so much natural light. The boys are loving the couch. You look so cute in here, girl. <laughs> You're gonna be the bartender all weekend? Please. I got Haley a gift for the trip. So cute. Look at what the hat says. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. That is so Haley. You know, no, no, you know. <laughs> Cheers. Squad. Our first, Cheers. or actually definitely not our first shot. That was our first shot in, in the, the Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. You did this, dude? Yeah, you smelled it out. Oh, maybe it's fine. Cheers, I'm late to the party. He's late, but he arrived in mm. style. Look at those muscles, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Okay, hit him with the flex. Hit him with the flex. 555. Are you doing the B sign? Can you just knock me out? This is my dude. I do that too. I always do that whenever I take pictures. It's my instinct. Hey guys. Nice, nice. Cheers. Nice. Night number one, y'all. We'll check in soon. Oh, by the way, another friend showed up. His name is Mike. He's Mike's gonna be the man. DJ of the I'll be damned. DJ Stack. <laughs> She's still here. Don't Follow worry. me on SoundCloud. Yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay, we could have done a fit check. The side boob is giving. You're welcome for this free show. Um, but yeah, we're feeling sexy Look tonight. Look at our shoes. Look at our yes. shoes. Hold on. White toes. Same shoes. We didn't shoes. even plan that shit. Okay, my toes are so much uglier right. than yours. Shit. Yeah, let's go. we do. All right, let's go, y'all. Good morning! Welcome to our villa. Here we have the boys. They're not athletic. <laughs> How are we feeling today, boys? Oh, you look great. So do you, Yeegees. Oh my god, Baywatch. Ready? Set. What's <laughs> At least you're cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> and she hasn't even drank yet. She's just a vibe, bro. She's just a fucking vibe. No drinks, just vibes. <laughs> the fact that I'm not even drunk yet, you guys. That's literally what I just this said. This is what the sun is doing to me. Yeah, vitamin D. The sun is the best drug. Anyway. Anyway. Paris Hilton oh, checking so out for now. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> hey babes, I'm just gonna do a quick little get ready with me for a pool party today. Um, this isn't gonna be like an in-depth thing, but I figured it would just be fun to share what I do when I know I'm gonna be outside in the heat and want like a simple soft glam that's gonna last all day and not look like I'm trying too hard even though I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, by the way, that's Haley. <laughs> Show them your nails. You guys, look at her fucking nails. They're so long. Wait, hold on. She went to like a private nail tech. Per your suggestion. Yeah, I sent her like a girl that I've had saved on my Dude, life. why is it not fucking focusing? Okay. There you go. There you go. So first, I use the Paula's Choice SPF 50. I use this every single day. The best of the best. I mean, I've talked about it a million times. And then I use the Glow Recipe in Nice and Nice Dewdrops. I already did my eyebrows off camera. That's so funny. When we were getting ready, I was like on my foundation. I was like, bitch, have you not done any of your makeup? And she's like, I do like a four step like pre makeup <laughs> skincare thing. Like, yeah, it's a wow, lot. Wow, maybe I didn't do that. It's a lot. Of That's work. why your like foundation, like everything looks so natural because yeah. like you like skin get your skin. So yeah. Important. I'm gonna use the Elf Glow Highlighter in me for. Also, oh. I was looking for that when I went to Target, but. I was talking to Chinese to like tell me more about the skin prep because I know nothing about that. You have to like, first of all, it's tricky finding a good moisturizer and sunscreen that doesn't pill under makeup and like break apart. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't really put much underneath because that's always what happens. You've got to use these one products. Um, oh, this is cute. It's just a little beauty blender carriers. Yeah, because they're dirty as fuck. Mine literally dropped on the floor. I'm like, saying yeah. like boogie, whatever. <laughs> We've done nastier things in our so day. So what shade you have in that elf thing? It's four. That is the one I wanted and it was gone. It was five and three. I was like, of course. Should I buy both and like combine them? Yeah. I mean, I have this darker one that I use um, to underpaint. That's that one? This is uh, six. 
for like under Should people. I? I feel like I should wear this to the pool party. I don't really want to wear the green one. Uh, I just, you need a skirt with it though. I'm gonna leave you to it. Okay. Bye guys. Yeah, it's probably gonna take forever if we're both talking. We always get distracted in conversation. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you guys kind of like how Haley and I met and like our friendship journey, if you will. Um, we met seven or eight years ago when I first moved to the Bellevue area. I started working at a restaurant called Joey. It's like one of Abby and I's favorite restaurants. I'm peeking off my rings because I'm just getting in the way. She was just so sweet to me and took me under her wing. Like I got the job there and then we started like hanging out. She included me, introduced me to so many people there, like took me out, showed me people's spots. She actually introduced me to my first boyfriend that I had there and then like we started hanging out, all of us. And yeah, she's been there through like a lot of shit in my life. We both have like gone through a lot in these past eight years but we actually did like have a friendship breakup if you will so once we rekindled our friendship everything has been really good since so we're both water signs i'm a cancer she's a pisces and we're both super emotional and super sensitive so and i also am not confrontational and she is so anytime like something happens like she's kind of she's a kind of girl that will oh hi She's the kind of person that will address it right away, and I tend to avoid conflict at all costs. Igor knows this. I miss you. I miss you too. That's all. Um, but don't I avoid conflict, and he does not avoid it. Yeah, she's been better about it though. I used to get walked all over by everyone, and I would apologize when I wasn't even in the wrong because I just wanted it to like not be hostile, you know? Um, what are you guys doing out there? Nothing. Nothing? You just so, want to go. Okay, we gotta go. What time is it, babe? We have to go. We're ready in 20 minutes. Oh, that's fine. I'll be fine. I'm not really doing much. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, maybe I am doing a lot. I don't know. Are you getting the water? Oh, I have not my face. face. Yeah. Oh, my hair extensions. Hell no. Um, but we're going to see part of How gorgeous today. you are. Oh, thanks, babe. This face. I feel like it's... This face is gorgeous. It's still doing each other. Are you kidding? It's okay. I mean, it's not nice, but it's fine. Okay, have fun. I'll be up there soon. Okay, bye. This is a lifesaver when you're traveling, you need. I have a travel um, essential section in our Amazon store, so it's there if you want to find it, but it's the best. Okay, I'm gonna use the Huda concealer in Sugar Biscuit and Coconut Flakes. Coconut Flakes for under my eyes, just for brightening. And then um, Sugar Biscuit on my T-zone for more coverage. So anyway, yeah. Haley and I needed to take a break because we weren't communicating well and we were just butting heads a lot. So if you have a friendship like that where you've been friends for a while and like you guys are just not seeing eye to eye and you're arguing over dumb stuff and like you're just starting to feel tension, it's okay to take a step back from that friendship and just like put your head down, focus on other things and like come back to each other once you guys have like, you know, done some self-reflecting. I did a lot of self-reflecting during that time and I know she did as well. And we both like hold each other accountable for our actions and like if we say something or do something that hurts the other person, we we have come to the realization that it needs to be addressed immediately. Even if it's uncomfortable, sometimes I still am like, can we at least just talk about it tomorrow? Um, and she understands like sometimes it does not need to be talked about right then and there. Sometimes it's okay to go to bed a little bit angry. Like, I know that's maybe an unpopular opinion, even if in your relationships, like sometimes you wake up and you're like, that was dumb, this isn't even worth bringing up again. And then you both just kind of like let it go and then it never has to like turn into anything else. Cause when you're heated, things can just be said that you don't even mean just because like you're so in the moment, just like fed up. I don't put anybody down, that is not my style. Even if I'm in a fight with them, I would never like call them a name or put them down. Okay, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in yellow. This one's really good. Just setting that. Gucci bronzer, of course, in the shade of medium three. I cannot wait to clean all my brushes. When I go home, I was gonna do it before, but I didn't have time. I was really a last minute packer and planner for this trip. That's what I always am. I kind of like the rush of it. <laughs> pool parties are like my favorite though. I think like the older I get too, the more I enjoy and appreciate a good day drinking session overnight drinking. Like last night we went to Hawkeson nightclub and 
I really didn't drink that much. And this morning I woke up and I felt so good. I went to bed at like three, which is pretty late. Um, you know, but like Vegas doesn't sleep. I was like, no baby, not for this girl. She is a sleepy girl and she will be getting her sleep. Um, <laughs> but tomorrow is the Lovers and Friends Festival. I'm so excited to see Chris Brown, Usher, Mariah Carey, um, Tian, Soldier Boy, Omarion, Nelly, 50 Cent, I think it's going, um, Bryson Tiller, Miguel. The lineup is so good. Christina Aguilera, I'm like, are you kidding? I am upset. I think Janae Aiko is going to. I am just so excited. I haven't been to a music festival in forever, and I'm so happy it's just a one day festival because I can't do those three, four day vendors like I used to. Okay, House Labs, blush in. Pamelo Peach. This is so pretty, you guys. I am actually obsessed with this blush. It is Gorgina. Gorgina. And then I'm going to use Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter and Ginger Binge. And I'm just going to kind of mix the two and just kind of put on top just for a little healthy glow. All right. I'm going to do my eyeshadow off camera. I'm going to be using the Morphe Solaria. Palette. I just got this kind of recently and I've been using it a lot. It's so pretty. These shimmers are focus. Okay, hold on. These shimmers are so pretty. So I'm just gonna do like a gold shimmer lid with just like a orange crease. Using a Too Faced lip injection gloss. And I'm just gonna stick to my Dior lip oil today. That is the vibe. Setting spray necessary. This is the Sephora Make Setting Spray 16 Hour Wear, transfer proof, sweat and humidity resistant. I used this last night and my makeup still looked really good when I got home and it was really hard to get off. So I think this stuff is the truth. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. Last night we got out of the Uber and this girl comes up to me and she was a subscriber and her name is Caitlin and she was so sweet. She was there on her bachelorette trip. She was there with all of her beautiful stunning friends. And they said hi, we took a few pictures which were, oh my god, drunk pictures are not, are not my um, expertise. Wow, like I forget how to pose, I forget how to suck it in. And I was like, oh my god, these are awful, but it was still so good to meet her. <laughs> she was so sweet, so if you're watching, Caitlin, I loved meeting you. Thank you for coming up and saying hi. I hope you had an amazing trip with your bachelorette girlies. Um, you guys all looked amazing. And I love seeing girls just having a good time with their friends. It makes my heart so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. the pool party barely it's night number two we're off to dinner but I'm tired I really wanted to take a nap after the pool party but that didn't happen of course because we didn't have much time until our dinner reservation but I want to show you guys the fit pink is like the vibe of the trip I'm obsessed you guys already know how happy and I feel about pink right now it's our obsession this is from Princess Polly got it a long time ago actually also stole this from Abby. Abby, if you're watching this, and you are. I stole two of your dresses, so thank you for the fits. Mwah, I love so much. Also, they don't allow cameras at the clubs here, which is so annoying. So, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tonight, but I'll try. Some of this vlog is gonna be on my iPhone, so just ignore like the difference in quality between my camera clips and my iPhone clips. Just bear with me, but it's fine because it's more relatable that way. And honestly, it's less awkward vlogging on my iPhone anyway. So anyway, see you guys at dinner. I think, maybe, we'll see. It's gonna be a long weekend, so don't worry. Lots to come.
You got it. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's like a puppy. No, <laughs> We're pair of tongue out. Come on. You can do it. Come down a little bit. Woo! Here you go, baby. Lucky, lucky he didn't pour all over your face like he didn't need. That was good, Mike. He's DJing in bed. Is that okay? Are we friends? Guys, a throw pause. Oh, what that mouth do? Yummy. Max, get Give her as much as you give yeah. me. Oh. Oh. She's a boss. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Juice World is alive. What? He's a clone. Hey, girl, take it down. Juice World knows how to party. <laughs> now she just did her makeup. You just got it all over everyone's face. Can you be nice. Can you hand me that? You see the amount of trust they have. I don't have any trust. <laughs> We've been traumatized. There we go. Woo! Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that very unorganized and chaotic Vegas vlog. That was Igor's foot in the back. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Um, I know it was not organized. It was a lot of partying. It was a lot of like being rushed because we would do things during the day. We'd come back to Airbnb and then we had to go do something at night because we had reservations. And it was just a lot. Honestly, Vegas is just crazy. If you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but we ended up missing our flight home and we had to stay an extra day and we stayed at the Cosmo which is my favorite hotel in Vegas by the way. Um, the bed, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10 needed that because I was actually so hungover the last day on Monday morning when we were supposed to fly out. I was dying at the airport and I was actually relieved that we missed our flight because then it meant we could just get a hotel and sleep. So that's how it ended. Um, it was a lot of drinking and um, it took me a full week to recover from that trip. <laughs> but it was a really fun trip and I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyway. I was really tempted to not post it because it was so unorganized but in case some of you guys wanted to see the chaos, I decided to upload it and it's gonna get a lot of copyright so I'm not gonna be putting ads in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that there was no ads as well. But yeah, love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in the next one. XOXO. XO.